Hey guys, I'm Nicole in Nesting Haven. Today I got a yard sale haul for you. This was Father's Day weekend, so I didn't go to too many yard sales. Kind of try to take it easy for my husband a little bit and just spend some time with him. So I just went to a few a little bit later in the day than I usually I'll get up and go in the morning, but um, I let him sleep in and we just kind of went about our day and I stopped in a few when we were in town. So I guess where shall I start? I'll start down here. So I actually got a couple of vintage um, suitcases in the same exact blue. So I was pretty stoked to find this. It was $4. I actually got those two suitcases for $5 for the both of them at Goodwill. And uh, they're in much better condition than this. But this isn't in bad, very bad condition. It just um, has a little bit of smell in the inside of it but not bad but I thought for four dollars it'd be great to get this have a little matching set it's not really bad at all so just clean that up a little bit and uh, the mirror is kind of cool it has like that so you can like prop it up so you can see yourself a little bit better so it's a Samsonite silhouette 2 yeah so I'll be keeping that and adding it to my vintage uh, blue suitcases there so four dollars set that down here all right so i just picked up this um little i guess it's like a placemat but that was in a free box so i thought it was cute and i can either use that in my booth or just for a little placemat or something for my house here also free at the yard sale was this little canoe I was kind of looking at it and asked her how much it was and she said that's a freebie so I was like sure so I'll be selling that in my booth stuff like this does well in there um won't ask very much for it maybe I don't know four three four dollars and then I picked up these glasses here they are like little juice glasses I thought they were nice because they were you know in the golf theme and um of course, you know, it would have been great to put in Father's Day in my booth, you know, in time for Father's Day, but, you know, unfortunately I did not get it in there in time because I just got them. So, um, they're only 50 cents a piece and I don't know any make on it, but it's a really, really nice quality glass. So any, any man that's going to love golf, that's going to be a great gift for them at some point if someone happens upon them in my booth. And then we'll go down here. I got this cute little hippopotamus planter for 50 cents. Well, that was super fun. I'm gonna keep that for myself. So cute. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen one with a hippo, so very fun. And then I got a tin, uh, Toll House tin here for 50 cents. These go for around eight to 10 maybe up to 12 online um, so not not overly um, a huge profit there but you know for at 50 cents that's pretty good even at eight bucks so definitely was gonna pick that up I think I'm going to add that to my collection because I don't think I got a toll house one yet so I think I'll just go ahead and keep that with my collection for now I grabbed this um, cards I assume it's for like, you know, a wedding or something for be nice for a farmhouse wedding or something with a rustic there. It was 75 cents and I figured I could sell it for at least $5 in my booth. I might actually just go ahead and throw that on Marketplace and, um, you know, for a quick sale because, you know, I'm sure there's lots of weddings happening now and someone's probably actually really enjoy this. So somewhere between $5 and $10, I um, haven't decided on the price yet, but I thought that was a cool piece anyways. I don't think I'll have any problem selling that. This was actually free too. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It came with a little plate stand there even. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cute. I'll put that in the booth for I don't know, $4, $5 maybe. So I got that. Can't beat free. <laughs> this I thought was really, really pretty. It was only $2. Um, it's pretty heavy. It looks like it would be you know kind of light light uh, glass not very heavy but it's super heavy actually and it kind of has that crackle finish to it which is kind of neat um, 
I'm trying to think, what flower is this? Hmm. What would that be? I can't, it's not really, it's not an iris. It's not, you know, it has too many flowers to be an iris. What is that? It's not a lilac. I'm not sure if you guys know what that flower is. Definitely let me know. But it's super pretty anyways. And um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the booth, even though I do like it. I'm just no, I just feel like it, I'd break it <laughs> if I keep it in my house. So I'm probably, I think I'm going to sell it for around 15, 12 to 15 probably. So that's really nice. That was a good find. And then I got this cute little vintage duck here. Uh, let's see, it's marked down below. It was just too cute to leave there. It was only a quarter, I believe. So super cute. And then these are kind of neat. I don't really know what the use of these are because they do both open like here and I would say maybe a ring holder but I don't know it's like really small like this one's even smaller than this um, but these are three dollars a piece they're really well made I just thought they were really I don't know just really different so I went ahead and picked them up and um, I like flaming the little ooh, the little flamingo, but I probably will end up selling it in my booth. So I paid three for them, and then ugh, I don't know what I want to sell them for. They're super heavy, um, pretty fun colored. I don't know, like, ooh, I, I like I like to at least make five dollars off of most items I get. So it'd probably be at least eight dollars, probably in the eight to ten range I would say a piece so super pretty though um, I guess I can try to open this one up for you guys can see how does it open which way does it go this way right here so you see it's like even smaller I don't know I'm not sure what these would have been used for the ri rings is the only thing I could think of but it seems small but yeah I thought those were cute anyways and then I got a couple pieces of greenery. I gotta dust them off a little bit, but um, got this to put in my booth. It's nice to enhance the uh, kind of look of, you know, the different styles you go with. So this says a dollar fifty, but I actually got that for a dollar. And then I picked up this red one at that same yard sale. Kind of has this fern, fake fern in it. So yeah, some greenery from my booth. I thought this was a pretty neat little um, tray. I like that it said the soap on it. I picked this up for two bucks. You guys know I sell um, artisan soap in my antique booth, so I thought this would be nice to just display, you know, right along with it. Obviously, put it for sale as well. But um, yeah, that was a fun little tray for two dollars, and I probably sell that for. I'll probably mark it up just a little bit because I kind of want it for, you know, my display for my soap. But um, you know, if it sells for. I don't know, 15 20 bucks whatever someone can have it but um yeah so that's for my soap display or to sell for a really obnoxiously high price <laughs> and then I picked up this basket for a quarter to add to my basket wall I like the size of it um and the oval shape to it most of the ones I have are round so it would give it a little bit um different look to it there and I thought this was kind of neat how it had the like kind of loop here so yeah, I got that. And then I just picked up this square basket here for 50 cents. And I'll probably go ahead and put that in the booth, even though I do like the looks of it, but I don't really have a use for it myself. And then down here, I picked up an old Grant's, I guess it's a toolbox. Um, it's in really good condition here. I'm not sure how much these go for. This was only a dollar for me, and I'm sure I could sell it for at least 10, but um, yeah, I got that. And then, okay, so back here, let me get this one here without breaking it. <laughs> this is a vintage cranberry pink Pyrex casserole dish here. I only paid a dollar for this, a few yard sale hauls back, if you guys saw, I picked up um, a set of four glass nesting bowls in the same cranberry pink. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and probably sell, try to sell them all as a set. These particular ones here go for around 20, 25, 30 bucks online. So, you know, that's a great profit on that. So I was happy to get that. I'll set that back before I get over. <laughs> all right. So this I am keeping for myself. It's a cool little shelf I got for a dollar. It goes the other way, but just for, I don't know, needs to be cleaned up, but <laughs> it's a little hard to get into the camera. But I thought it was a super unique design on it. And I think I, I kind of like the brown to it. I don't know if I'll end up painting it or not. And kind of been more into not painting furniture and stuff. I kind of just like the, you know, it's really, really nice wood. It's just not really dinged up too much. So I think I'm going to just keep it as is. I think it's a pretty cool piece. So it's a nice little corner shelf for me. I'm doing better about not getting so much stuff for myself, guys. <laughs> I think that was the only thing I'm keeping besides the hippo, right? Maybe the tin. Yeah. <laughs> um, I found a couple of records for our record collection. We got Billy Joel here. And this is the stranger. I'm not sure what's on this. We got moving out just the way you are. Some good songs, Vienna. Um, one of my favorite songs uh, is by Billy Joel. Uh, you may be right. Is the song that I like. I've always liked it since I was a little kid. And um, yeah, so unfortunately that song's not on here, but um, yeah. I like Billy Joel, he's a pretty cool dude. And then my husband picked out this one here, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, and Young. Um, so I'm not really sure what's on this, but we got it. <laughs> so that was a dollar as well. Then I contemplated, I went back and forth whether I wanted to get this or not. It was only a dollar, so I like the floral. I like the florals in it. It is all glass and you clean it up, but I figure for a buck I could, you know, resell it easy enough um, for, you know, even if it's only like, you know, five or six bucks. So I figured I would get it and try to sell it for around 10 and we'll see how we do. And I also picked up a shelf back here. I, I like to pick up any kind of shelving like this, for, you know, two dollars is probably the most I really like to pay for it. But it's always good to have different pieces to use for display in my antique booth. So I grabbed that to put some smalls on. I think I'm almost done. I got a basket here. It's a really large basket. It was only a dollar. Um, it's pretty, pretty clean. It's not beaten up. A lot of times you can find these pieces and they're all broke up. It's a little, a little bit here, but not bad still very sturdy and um yeah i'm not sure if i'm keeping that myself or putting in the booth but either or <laughs> i do like it i'm not sure if i have a use for it i have a couple more furniture pieces to show you and we're almost done guys so i picked up another one of these rolling carts i've picked up these before i think i'm up to three now it was only a dollar i think these are just so fun um this is the first one i actually picked up with the holes in the top which you know, these are originally like TV stands, so they have a little rolling cart, you know, to bring out their entertainment and can push it away out of their way. So yeah, I got that. I probably will be reselling this one in the antique booth, but um, nonetheless, a great deal on that. I was super excited to get this one. All right, so the last two things I got were these wooden boxes, window boxes, I think is what they use them for. That's what I'm going to use them for. I got them for a dollar a piece. I thought that was a steal. Um, they don't match. I plan to paint them, I think, the same green as my front door. Um, and they are kind of different sizes, but the windows I'm going to put them on are on opposite sides of the um, house, so I think it'll be okay. And yeah, hopefully it looks cute. <laughs> um, I could always use them for something else if not, but that is my intention to use those for window boxes. I've owned window boxes for quite a while, so that is what I'm going to do with those. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know below what you liked, and we'll catch you next time, guys.